In today's video, we're going to hear from Kelly Zitlow, get an update on the mortgage information for October 2022. She has some great stuff, and I appreciate that she's a YouTuber and she's out putting the extra effort in. Hi, my name is Michael Smith. Some people call me Smitty. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Phoenix area, Scottsdale and Paradise Valley. In today's video, we're going to hear from Kelly Zitlow, get a little update on mortgages in 2022. Don't forget in Arizona real estate, we got your back and we're here to help. Real estate market shifts from a very much of seller's market to more of a neutral market and even a buyer's market, depending on where you are in the country. As that shift takes place, what you're going to find is that there are going to be more sellers open to contributing towards your closing cost. So this is a really important key when we think about affordability, when we think about assistance. Seller paid closing costs can be used in so many different ways and it truly can help you reduce your monthly house payment, or it can help you reduce your closing costs. So let's think about this way. Let's say that you have a $10,000 seller credit. Now, 100% of that money has to be used towards your closing costs. You cannot use that for your down payment. But if you've got $10,000, let's say your closing costs are maybe $6,000, and that would include the lender fee, the title company fees, the appraisal fee, the first year of your homeowner's insurance, your escrow account set up, all the things that go into closing costs when a lender says that. It could also be the cost for you to buy down your interest rate a little bit, which is going to help you with that monthly payment. So seller concessions, this is a really big win. And trust me, a year ago, no seller concessions or very, very little. Today, the percentage of closings that are happening across the country are increasing that have seller concessions on them. So let's leverage that. If you're thinking about how to buy down that interest rate, like what does that mean? And you're gonna hear all these terms. I wanna really be crystal clear that there are various options to do this. One, you can do a 2-1 buy down, which means what's happened is if the current rate today is let's say it's 6.5%, then you can use the seller closing cost contribution to buy that interest rate down for the first two years of the loan. So the first year would be at four and a half percent. The second year, your payment would be based on a five and a half percent interest rate. And the third and subsequent year, your payment will be based on the six and a half percent interest rate. So that is an option if you need a little bit of runway or a couple of years or just a staggered type of payment. The other option is just to do that same scenario, but only do it for one year. The benefit with that is it's less expensive to do a one year seller buy down. And so in that case, you're going to have a little bit more money left over to apply towards closing cost, depending on how much the seller is giving you. Another option is just to buy down the interest rate period and not worry about the adjustment that happens with a temporary buy down. Adjustable rates could also be a consideration. We're starting to see with interest rate market where it is that an adjustable rate might make sense. Now, as a first time home buyer, I really, really wanna caution you, you've got to make sure you understand what that means. And not all adjustable rates are created equal. So I would recommend if you are considering an adjustable rate, you do an adjustable rate that has a fixed rate for a long period of time. For example, if we're quoting adjustable rates today, we're generally quoting a seven year fixed rate, meaning that the rate is fixed for the first seven years of the loan. And then on the eighth year, it's adjusting based on the index of the margin. So what that's telling you is you have a set payment for seven years based on that interest rate, but it will adjust in that eighth year. So we want to walk through what are you looking for to do in the seven years? Well, we're gonna be looking to refinance you out of that seven year fixed rate when 30 year fixed rates come down and it makes sense to do that. So those are just some of the strategies and the ways that we see buyers using that seller credit towards their closing costs today. Now, if your cash out of pocket is the most important thing in your situation, then you can use the seller credit to limit your cash out of pocket. Now, remember the seller credit can pay 100% of your closing costs, depending on how much the seller credit is. So let's say your closing costs are $6,000 and the seller is giving you $10,000. That extra $4,000, remember, you cannot use that towards your down payment, but it can be applied to help you buy down your interest rate, which is a great strategy because it's a little bit the best of both worlds, right? You're using that money to buy down the rate a little bit to help you with your monthly payment affordability. And then they're using the rest of it to cover all of your closing costs. So you're only going into closing with your 
customer required down payment for the home loan you're obtaining. As you can see, there are a number of opportunities to help buyers with affordability in today's market. Don't let the media or people you know scare you into thinking that today is not a good time to buy. It could be a great time to buy, but it depends on your particular scenario. If you're a first time home buyer and you were struggling to compete a year ago or two years ago because you couldn't compete in that kind of crazy market, it's a fantastic time to buy. If you know anybody that's thinking about buying a home, please share this video. Until next time. So anyway, I just love sharing Kelly's information. She's really sharp and she's on top of the mortgage stuff. Remember, we have your back in Arizona. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more information. Take a look at some of our playlists. We have playlist tips and tricks on for buying, for selling, and a, and a lot of home tour and market information. Thanks again for watching.